I've got to be honest, I wasn't a fan of this question because I feel like it's saying the direction of OA is very, very vague. It doesn't say the direction from a certain axis or anything. Um, you know, actually, when I first looked at it, I thought maybe it's the bearing. And then I, you know, back in my mind, I kind of realized, oh, yeah, okay, it's like it's actually linked to when I you know, learn about, say, polar coordinates. And polar coordinates are when you have an angle, you define a coordinate by an angle and the magnitude, which is essentially what we're, we've got here. And the angle is always um, anti-clockwise from the x-axis. So you have to be aware of that, basically, in this question. And that will allow us to draw the vector. So this would be an angle of 0. And as I rotate around, that would be a uh, direction of 90. And then 180. And then we're going to go another 60 degrees to roughly here. And that is actually going to be the vector in question. So O is obviously, well, that's already labeled O, and then A is here. Um, it's asking us to show the point, so I'm just going to label that angle 240, and then the length as 8. In part 2, it then says to find the position vector of point A, but in the terms of I and J. So it is still going to be essentially OA that we're finding, that's our position vector. But we're going to need to write it, in, yeah, like I said, in terms of I and J. Now, when I did it, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to draw a little triangle. I'm just, I just get into that habit, really. And so here, I'm going to have 30 degrees to get up to 270. And then this side here is going to be 8 sine 30, because it's like the, it's opposite. If you want to take a bit more time, you could call it, say, x, and then you could write down sine 30 is x over 8, rearrange, and x is 8 sine 30. In a similar way over here, this is going to be 8 cos 30. Then we need to work out what those are. So you can put it in your calculator, or you might know you have some exact trig values. Sine 30 is actually half, so it's going to be 4. And then cos 30 is actually root 3 over 2. So this is going to be 4. Uh, root 4 root 3 and actually that's all I need I've just got to realize that in fact this is it's going to be negative it's going to be minus 4 I you know the the triangle dimensions are 4 and 4 root 3 but because I'm dealing with a vector I need to incorporate this and then it's going to be minus 4 root 3 J okay and that is our answer now it turns out you can do it more quickly I don't know, I just always get into this habit, but you could have just done um, for the I1, 8 sine 240. That would get you that answer straight away, because um, that's how like the sine function works. I don't know, I feel like I haven't quite got to grips with that, if I'm honest. And then this one is 8 cos 240. Mm, yeah, that will work out. Right, we're then told that the point B has position vector 6i. I'm going to draw that on. So that's going to be going along the x-axis like that. We're asked to then find the exact area of triangle AOB. So I'll just draw this in. There we go. There's our triangle. And this dimension is going to be 6. So once you've got that in place, it's, it's not too bad, actually. It's, the area is going to be a half AB sine C. So it's going to be a half times 6 times 8 times sine. It's going to be um, 90 plus this 30. It's going to be 120. Uh, 13, oh, it asks for the exact area. Okay, that's a bit sneaky. Oh, I just realized I've got it in radians. Okay, that can happen. Nearly caught me out there. That's better. 12 root 3. Yeah, just be on the lookout because it happens, happens to everyone at some point. Finally, the point C is such that OABC is a parallelogram. That means we start at O. We go to A, 
then to B and then to C. So what it means is I'm going to have to have another vector sort of up here. That is going to be where C is. Very important you get it in the right place. So that is the same as like OB essentially, and then this is the same as OA. Okay, it doesn't quite look right, but hey, it's just a little sketch. So find the position vector of OC. Let's see, rather, OC. Um, well, it's going to be the same as AB, actually. They're, they're going to be the same vector because of the parallelogram. It's going to be parallel, so it's equal to AB. And AB is going to equal AO or minus OA plus B or plus OB. So OB, I'll, I'll put that one in first, it's going to be 6i, and then I'm going to be minusing that vector from the start, so minus 4i minus 4 root 3j. Uh, double negative here, we're going to get 10i, and double negative there, we're going to get plus 4 root 3j. Alright, got to be honest, I... I always find these vector questions some of the toughest, just they're just different every time. You know, this immediately uh, makes this question a bit awkward, in my opinion. And then we've got all sorts of things going on. Just carefully use a diagram and hopefully get there.